All right. Um, I'll be putting you through. You're yeah, welcome to uh, this section of a um, training. This is going to be like a walkthrough on how to use the student registration page and how to assess your course that you've purchased as the ultimate money machine course and all how to navigate around your student portal when you are taking the course. And then I'll also be taking time to address some of the issues faced by most of our students, DigiSTEM students, when it comes to the use of their e-learning platform. Now, first of all, when once you've signed up on our platform, and once you've bought the course, you'll be given a link sent to your email address. And one of the links will be taking you to this page, which is a student registration page. <clears throat> now, every person that buys this course is going to have access to this page. That is a student registration page. This is where you are going to register as a student. All right. So it's just as, like for example, that you are you got admission into maybe your primary six or you got entrance into your JS1. Okay, at high school or at college. Now, the first thing you have to do is that you are going to sign up on their portal. Now, this portal is where you are going to have access to some of your course materials or your departmental, you know, related modules, right? So this is the same thing that happens. Or you go to an event and then at the point of entrance, you are asked to put in your name. So that's the form of registration. You have to fill in your name, your last name. And if possible, you put down your email address and you'll be given an ID. Okay, that ID, you can call it an ID card, will grant you access to... Um, assess most of the features or most of the platforms in that event okay now without your id card you will be denied access to either food or shelter or other things on the platform or on the on the event to say or in the event now this is the same thing that applies to when it comes to online activities so the first thing is that you are going to sign up as a student this is um, how we'll be able to track you as a user and as one of our um, um, distinguished students on the platform. And one of the first details you need to put in here is your first name, you fill in your last name, and then you put your username. All right, there's going to be a username, and the username is unique to everyone. So two persons cannot have the same username. All right, just as you're queuing up on the queue, every person has their ID be number one to number 200 to number 50. Two persons cannot have the same ID. All right. So this is the username, which is unique to everyone. And also two persons cannot have the same email address. All right. So two persons can bear the same name. That's possible. Two persons can have the same username. Two persons can have the same email address. And also for the password, two persons can have the same password. All right. Okay. Now, when you've done that and click on register, you'll be taken to a page and then that page is going to show you um, your total enrolled courses, all right? It's going to take you to your dashboard where you are going to have access to your personalized e-learning platform, all right? So your enrolled courses are going to be zero, all right? Your active courses are going to be zero. So what I'll basically be doing now is that I'll be, um, all right, I already have an account which was created. That is um, the student registration login page here. Now, once you've done that, once you sign up, automatically you'll be directed to a page. Now, what we do as a platform is that we basically enrolled you, okay? Within 24 hours, you'll be enrolled in the course that you've bought, right? So you have to be patient with us while our team are working, all right, to make sure that you have been enrolled on the platform. Now, once you've enrolled, okay, you can come over to digistem.com. That is our website here, digistem.com. Once you visit there, all right, you are going to see this. Now I'm using a system, right? If I begin, if I switch it over to a, a, a mobile device, this is how the interface is going to look like. So one of the first things you have to do when once you visit digistem.com is that you have to log in as a student. Now we have the affiliate section when it comes to our platform. We also have the e-learning section. Now this is the menu bar. Click on the menu bar here. And then you have access to some of the menu options here. Okay, you see the step-by-step -step guide on how to get started. Then right down here, you will see this button that says login. Now when you click on that login, there's going to be a drop-down containing two links. One of them is the affiliate dashboard, and the other is the student login. Now, as a student that is about that is about to take a course, you have to sign in as a student here so click on student login and then you'll be taken to this page 
now this page is where you are going to fill in your details all right this is the same detail you used while registering as a student all right after making payments now ensure you use okay now let me clear this it says you can provide either your username or your email address now ensure you fill in the same username or email address you use while registration okay and also put in the same password you chose here now fixing the details i used to register here and then also we have prove your humanity you have to ensure that you are correct four plus ten this is 14 right so input 14 there and then you click on sign in here right so once you click on sign in here it's going to take you to your personalized account this is your dashboard this is where you are going to assess the course that you've got right so we've made this course private to everybody that have paid for our course All right now well, once you've done that you come over here now if you cannot see the course in progress there is a there is a okay if you cannot see that course in progress um basically you are going to be seeing something here all right you are going to be seeing a menu a menu button here there's going to be a menu button here right as you can see this menu button click on that and then you go to enrolled courses now when you click on the enrolled courses you are going to be seeing these your courses the enrolled courses available here now this is the ultimate sales machine course just click on start learning click on start learning but once you click on start learning it will take you to a different course page this is the actual course page which you are going to be taking the courses now you let this page load please also ensure that you use a strong internet connection so first and foremost we have to now if you notice we have two menu buttons here we have the one here which is tied to this course right we also have another menu button which is tied to our website here so the one you'll be using to move to the next lesson is going to be the menu attached to the ultimate sales machine now when you click on here it's, it's going to display you the lessons we have here so you can navigate from each of the lessons here to the next lesson okay let's take for example we are starting with the first one just click on there and then it takes you to the lesson page this is going to be a video loaded now once you've done that click on the play button this session i'm going to be looking at basics and key metrics to online business if you want to succeed online all right so that is it you click on play and it starts playing so some of the complaints we have i will be addressing some of the issues when it comes to the using of the e-learning platform there are a lot of questions people are asking my video is not playing i cannot assess my course material i played and it stopped halfway and several other questions i'll be addressing those issues now once you've done this and some other questions like i cannot increase the volume of my this thing i cannot do this so this is basically um i'll be covering that in our subsequent um you know how to guide okay and then um, so when once you've done that click on the um, next when you are done click on next when you are done with the course you can click on next but always ensure that when you are done click on mark as complete right it's going to help you to you know to get a hundred percent of completion of the total course all right so when you've done you can just click on go back right you can click on go back here and then if you want to visit back your dashboard if you want to visit back your dashboard you can come over here and click on dashboard now it's going to take you to your student dashboard once again okay so basically i've covered the um, this session on how to use the e-learning platform and um, i think um, in our next my next lesson I'll, I'll be putting you through some of the technical issues that our students are having and how you should be able to address it all by yourself right thank you so much for joining me once again and i'll see you next time